And that's the plan. No, no, we, we didn't buy this bull yard. That's meta. I don't know if you remember, but we shot a video a few months ago on this bull yard. And this is the bull yard that designed odd back in the 80s. And now the plan is we're going to build a new boat. Yeah. That's it. I mean, <laughs> you guys knew already we're going to build a new boat, but you, you have no idea how this is going to happen. And that's what we're going to explain to you right now. So. With the money that we got from Odd, we moved to France to build the whole of our new boat. So the price of Odd is enough for us to get a design with Meta and to have them build the whole of the boat. After that, we're going to do ourselves. <laughs> of course, yeah, I mean like, we don't want to build a new boat in a boat yard and travel for two years and then come back and have a ready boat. And we're not saying that that's bad. A lot of people like, we enjoy the process of building things. So the idea is Meta is responsible for the design with our interaction. So we are sitting with the designer, we are creating a design that we really love based on one of their designs. So we got a design as a base that is the Meta 43 DS. We can show, a, a, I don't know, a drawing. <laughs> but we are modifying for our odd project. <laughs> yeah, so we are changing a lot of things. When I say a lot of things, we are changing the place of the anchor locker, we are changing the height of the freeboard, we are changing a lot of things to create our own design. But what we like about the design that we are going to keep is like, it's a deck salon. So we have the view, the 360 view from the salon yep. and the galley. And even more than that, we have the deck and the salon pretty much in the same height. It's like really close to the same height. That means you have a stand high door you can walk straight inside the boat and that means the inside and the outside of the boat is going to be a lot more connected and that's something that in odd as it was a boat meant to cold weather we were always inside the cockpit was really small and we were never on the cockpit we were never in the cockpit in this boat we're going to be much more connected to the outside and that's a really really awesome thing what i also like on the project is our cabin is going to be under the salon, so it's going to be really stable. Yep. Also, we're going to have a different kind of queue for this project. It's going to be really, really cool. Also, what I really like is that this is an aluminum boat that doesn't rust. Yeah. Of course, there is electrolysis, but that's, you just do the electrical part well and it's fine. So we are not going to paint it, so we don't need to worry about painting a boat. Yeah, sorry, it's not going to be orange. We oh, wish we could have an orange boat. We wish aluminum could be orange by itself, but I don't want to... We're going to have some orange somewhere, but the hull is going to be bare aluminum because we want something that we don't need to worry about maintenance. Yeah, I mean, the, the design is almost done. The design is not 100% done yet. We have another month and we're going to be done with the design. And then we can order the plates and then we can start building the hull. So that means in real time, this is actually about to happen. We are really close to start actually welding the hull of the boat and that's just unbelievable. After they finish the hull that is going to take them six months to finish, we are going to transfer the hull to a different location. We are going to rent a workshop for ourselves and we're going to build our own boat yard. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to build a boat yard to sell boats, no. We're going to build a boat yard just to build our own boat so we can have the proper time and, you know, no noise and not other people working around so we can properly film for you guys. How long is it going to take? I have no idea. I know that the whole of the boat from today is going to take like seven months, maybe eight months. After that, I don't know, can take two years, can take five years. I have no idea. We are going to take our time. We are going to enjoy the process so we don't mind if it's taking longer than we planned in the beginning. When you build a boat and you film for YouTube full time, it's really easy to get burned out. It's just burned out. It's just too much at the same time so as Robert said we want to take the proper time but also we want to keep a video a week for you guys and that's the reason why we need to explain how this is going to happen because we need to have the proper time to do it if we hurry we won't have a video a week and we are going to just get crazy so what can everyone expect from now on video wise you are going to see us going from the Caribbean to France, but it's not as simple. It took like two months to do that. We went from the Caribbean to Annapolis. We left a lot of our, half of our belongings in Annapolis. We visited friends, we had some fun. And then from Annapolis, we went to Canada to visit other friends. And from a Canada, we finally well. made to Brazil. <laughs> and in Brazil, we spent, I think, like a month and a half. But why did you spend six weeks in Brazil? Isn't that too much time? No, it was mainly because of our family. Yeah, and also we needed to take a break from filming. When you travel full-time filming, sometimes it's good to take a little break and, you know, just enjoy friends and family and just sit around. That's really good to sit around and sometimes. also we had a lot of bureaucracy to be Ooh. done. Yeah, you know, everything that we have 
related to bureaucracy at this point it's in Brazil in our hometown so that means we need to go to the bank we need to go to the account we need to go to the dentist you need to go to the doctor and there is one more thing that we did what did we do we got married <laughs> yeah the truth is we've been together for over s almost 17 years and we never really had a reason to officially get married because we consider ourselves married for already I don't know 13 14 years already but this time is different what's different Because we needed to stay in Europe and Duca has Italian citizenship, so I can stay here under his citizenship. That means we actually moved to Europe. That's the truth. The truth is we needed to stay longer in Europe. We wanted to do it properly. We want to be able to stay here and for that we got married. And that's, I mean, not just because of that. We also, you know, we kind of like each other a little bit. <laughs> It's been a long time. So what's next? Well, next I want to welcome to our patron family, Christian and Robin. And Lace Wing Tree, thanks so much for the super thanks. Now, let's go back to the episode. So, we arrive in France, and right when we arrive in France, of course, it was summer vacations for the whole country, and nothing happened for two weeks. But then, when vacation was over, the boat yard was gonna go to two boat shows, and they invited us to go with them. You're never gonna see me say no to a boat show. I really like to see different boats, and to learn with different boats. Yeah. And right now we are designing a boat that we still have time to incorporate ideas to the new boat. So we're like, it's a perfect timing. We saw the list of boats on these two boat shows, that is Ken's boat show and uh, La Rochelle boat show. And we saw like, hmm, we have some good boats to visit. Mm -hmm. And we are going to film some boat tours because if we like to visit boats, some of you might like to see boats also. <laughs> so that means you're going to see some really cool boats. After that, we are finally going to start building the hull of the boat. When you build a hull, you don't have that much progress in one week. So we want to compress more, more weeks into one video to make more sense and to be better to watch. And that means in the meantime, while they build the hull of the boat, we are going to have a tiny little project in between. We need to find a place to live. The place we are living right now, the Airbnb, is a really nice place, but it's a little bit too expensive. So we need to get out of there as soon as possible. And in order to do that, we bought ourselves a new project, this one. And that's our new project. <laughs> yep, we bought a van. But before you complain that this channel is going to become a, I don't know, RV or a van channel, no, we didn't move to France, to Europe, to build a van. We moved to Europe to build a boat and that's our goal, it's to build the boat. So why the van? The van is necessary because, first of all, we want to stop paying rent and we want a place that we can feel ho at home. Since we left Odd, literally the worst part was not even selling Odd, was selling our bed, our home, our galley, Our, our, our couch, space. our space, like we don't have a place, we've been just like going from place to place and there is nowhere that we stay that we actually felt like home and we want a place to feel like home while we are building the boat. So while we build the boat, I, we are going to build this space and we're going to have a office inside, we're going to have a shower cabin inside, we're going to have a, a lot of galley <laughs> inside because this is going to be based on a boat. So everything on this van is going to be actually an experiment for us yeah. to build the boat. So we are going to be building actually the van on the boat yard that our future boat is going to be built. So that means you can expect that even though we are going to have some van building videos, we are also going to give you some updates on the hull because that's, that's, that's the other reason because we wanted an excuse to be on the boat yard every day and while they're building the hull it's going to be annoying for them if you're just like you know <laughs> sitting there and watching them all day long. So in this way you have an excuse to build something next to the boat yard and we can go every single day and give you guys update on the hull. And also we are going to try new materials and we are going to learn how to work with some materials different. Yep partners as well and try equipments a lot of the equipments are going to use on the boat we are actually going to use here the insulation is going to be the same the heating system might be the same and that means it's much cheaper to make mistakes on this oh, yeah. tiny van than on a big boat and so i think it makes total sense and also we didn't know when we bought the van but we need to convert the documents from a cargo van to a camping van yeah like a cargo. yeah like an rv like a recreation vehicle instead of a cargo van And for that, we don't have French enough to go to four different places and talk to people to convert the paperwork. And also there's a lot of convincing involved because, you know, like when there is a lot of bureaucracy, they're like, no, but you didn't do this right. And then yeah. you need to explain yourself. You need to convince them that you did it right. And, and we, we cannot do all the laws, actually. Yeah. And also the design needs to be according to the law in France. Otherwise, they won't give you the documents. And for that, we partner with this company that's called Enda Design. Yeah, they're really cool people. I mean, like, 
at first for us it was like yeah like, should we partner with a company to help us with the design and we were like i don't know we didn't really want it to you know have someone else working on the design with us but then when we went to visit them we realized that they're just like us they're <laughs> yeah. just like two young guys that good friends that started this company to convert cargo vans into camper vans by themselves, by themselves. and they've been doing that for a while so they know all the rules they know how to get approved so now we are working with them we did like a raw a rough design of the van that we want and now they're putting our design into the rules into the spacing into the amount of ventilation and we are going to work together with them and also some of the stuff we are not allowed to do ourselves otherwise they're not going to prove yeah. that means gas installation and heating installation they need to do because they have a company that's licensed for that and that, that's it i mean it's going to be an awesome project but don't worry the boat is the main project and the reason why we are building the van in such a good quality we want to do a really really prime van is because we will need to sell the van before we finish the boat otherwise we don't have money to afford both of them and that means if we want to sell for a good price we first uh, we need a uh, good canvas so this is actually a brand new van zero kilometers it's a Hano master l3 h2 I almost said in French. Say, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because when we bought the van, we were just going to from store to store, from dealer to dealer, saying in French. So it's. L3 H2. By the way, the name of the van is going to be called Ojiti. Iti in Polynesia is means small, like a small island would be end with Iti. So odd Iti, that means the small tiny odd, odd, tiny odd. <laughs> Uh, and it's gonna be awesome. I think we need really need a place to feel like home and I think this van is gonna make us work better on the boat because we are gonna have a home while building the boat. Uh, yeah, we else? love tiny spaces, so I think it's gonna be one more. We all we were always curious to build a van actually. Yeah, I mean <laughs> we start a shipping container house, we build a boat, it's, it's time to have yeah. a van and also from every now and then we have like boat shows to go. We're gonna have a transport and a place to stay while we go to boat shows. With partners with manufacturers. Yeah. I think it's gonna be just amazing and then when time comes we just sell the van and we move to the boat and also we are going to be able to leave for free on the boat yard because we can just park the van on the boat yard and leave inside our van with everything we need that's good <laughs> i think that's it Did anything else that we need to say uh, the name of the boat the name of the boat so a lot of people been asking so you're going to build odd two no we're not going to build odd two what's the name of the boat it's going to be pacifico why pacifico because pacifico is pacific in portuguese and the plan is to go to the pacific region with the boat yep. and because I didn't allow him to put the name of Odd as Pacifico before <laughs> and didn't bring us luck so Odd was supposed to be called Pacifico and then someone didn't agree and end up that we end up selling the boat before we went to the Pacific so this boat it is gonna go to the Pacific that's the goal we want to go to Indonesia that's it there is no way we are not gonna go to Indonesia with this boat that's the main goal of the channel from now on is building a boat to go to Indonesia no, a lot of boards and surfing. It's, it's and awesome. also because our former boat was Atlantico and it was in Brazil and it was a 26 foot. It was supposed to stay in Atlantico. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna have the Pacifico, and I think odd. I would feel bad to have like odd number two because odd for me it's odd. Every time we say odd, that's the boat. There is no other boat that's odd. I cannot that do odd that. Color. <laughs> it's either you're gonna try to overcome the first odd or. You are gonna be always like the second boat and not the main odd. So odd for us is odd, and we will always love odd. Yes. That's <laughs> it. But for now, that's enough. We talk way too much. I mean, I talk way too much. And we see you guys next week. Next week we're gonna start making our way to France, and then we arrive in France with some really cool boats, and then we finally start working on the whole and on this new cool project. <laughs> see you guys later. See you.